Hey guys, it's Dave from Dini Drums. Welcome to this lesson on how to play five must learn Scott Rayner drum beats. Now, in today's lesson, I'm going to cover five of his greatest parts that he created. And I know many of you are probably thinking, wait on a moment, what about Travis Barker? Isn't he the, the number one punk drummer? And in fact, you know what? You're right. He's probably, if not the best, right, at least right up there. Okay. And, you know, Scott Rayner, well, you know, how does he compare? Well, I don't think you can compare them because. You know what, Scott Rayner was a baby. He, I mean, he was 18 when he recorded like Sheer Shy Cat and Dude Ranch. He was late teens and probably just getting started himself, right? Well, Travis Barker, on the other hand, when he joined Blink, he was like 25, 26. So we never really got to see Scott Rayner, you know, in his prime. And if you listen to those early drum parts for Blink, they were recorded pretty raw, okay? So it wasn't like, you know, they were top recordings like the new Blink Ray. Blink rate two recordings are. I'm not trying to say anything bad or good about Travis Barker or Scott Rain. I'm just saying that it's not an even playing field. <laughs> all right, and let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to show you five drum parts. And if you want to get the, the transcriptions, you can from the description section below. It's got all the drum parts we cover. And yeah, let's go through them, guys. So M&M's is the first one. Now, if you know the song M&M's, it's a really kind of classic early Blink rate two song and it's 160 BPM, and here's how it sounds. All right, what that beat is doing is your hat's going one, two, three, four. Snare on two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the bass drum's kind of changing up. It's basically going. So the next one we look at is Touchdown Boy. That's also from the album Sheer Shy Cat. And that one you know, is a hunt, played at 215 BPM. And it's quite a complex four bar pattern. Well, actually I wouldn't say complex, but it's, it's complex when you play at least this tempo because there's a fair bit going on. And here's how it sounds. So if you want to learn that one pretty well, what I'm going to recommend is learn the first two bars separately to the second lot of two bars. So bar one, two, learn that first, then bar three and four, learn that second, which would sound like this. First half. And then the bar three and four. Then put it all together. All right, next one we look at is Damn It from Dude Ranch, obviously probably one of the biggest songs ever. 
and here's how the four bar chorus part sounds. Now, just let you know, the first three bars is on the ride cymbal and it's kind of like a half time feel. And the fourth bar, it goes to a full time part on the hi-hat. Here's how it sounds. Definitely a cool part to learn if you want to get the transcription once again, get it from the description section below. All right, next one we look at is another song from Dude Ranch. This one's probably the fastest song of the lot. This one's called Josie and it's played 200 BPM. Here's how it sounds. Now to play that beat, Basically, your hat's gonna go one, two, three, four. Snare on the two and the four. One, two, three, four. And bass drum's gonna go on the count one and the three and. So. And played really fast. Very popular punk rock beat and it was really popular with Scott Rayner. You, if you listen through a lot of his stuff, he would play that beat for a lot of the fast songs. All right, next one we're going to do is Enthuse. It's actually this, the introduction of the song. It's played at 240 BPM, all right, and here's how it sounds. Alrighty guys, there you go, there's five Muscle and Scott Rayner parts. If you want to get the transcription, you can from the description section below. It's got all the five parts we went through in today's lesson. And if you've got some value, hit the like button. If you want, to get, if you want more lessons just like this, hit the subscribe button. It'll be, it'll be great to have you aboard, guys. And either way, I hope you have an awesome day. And see you next time, guys.